the 18th Brumiere of Louis Napoleon. So it's performance philosophy and it's Karl Marx's best essay. And I've adapted it almost not at all, actually. Really almost not at all. <coughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> so I should be on vocals. And so, are you S Sufi boy still? Whatever. Wherever. It will be on whatever. He's going to make some noise in the background. Do you know, Hegel says somewhere in that pompous way of his, all history repeats itself. <laughs> but the old fart forgot to say, the first time, it's tragedy. And the second, it's a farce. How else do you understand the political debates, debates of now? But the reheated arguments of yesteryear, made to sound new and posh by pompous fools who are just regurgitating that which they learnt when they were children. But you know, it is always thus. We men, we make our own history. But we do not make it in the circumstances of its star choosing. Consciousness of the dead weighs like a nightmare upon the minds of the living. But it is the burden most truly felt by those who have something new to say. They mum their lines, they muff their parts, they go then to the mummy of history. Take Martin Luther. Here was a mind like no other. A man who could single-handedly tear down the papal walls led loose a spirit of Christianity that had been dormant a thousand years. But did he do it in his own name? No, this would be revolutionary. Pretended he was but St. Augustine, born again. Or take stern Oliver Cromwell. A man who single-handedly destroyed the feudal order, but all the while just pretended he was some kind of Old Testament prophet. Put amongst us once again. But at least, at least in all these cases, these men look to history for their fire. Through it they forge something new. But what do we say about our current leaders? Men whose only right to rule is they know it is their birthright. By inheritance, by luck, by good fortune or by name. Men then who were born to reheat the arguments of yesteryear. So that political debate becomes little more than regurgitating old arguments, old truths. Oh my comrades, oh my comrades, I tire of all this history, all this poetry of the past. We modern revolutionaries, we must sing a new song. We must learn the poetry of the future. Through it, we must strive to say something as yet unsaid. Do so, and who knows, a world might be gained. Fail to do so. Very mellow now, Si. I might have a really mellow piece. Okay, we'll do a bit of dollars. That usually gets, it usually confuses the audience, actually.